Right here I have a remote battery disconnect switch. Go ahead and open this up so we can have a look at it and see how you would install this and make it work. So it's got a little installation paper right there, some key fobs, the transformer, some cables, and then here are the terminals for the battery. So keep in mind that this is designed to be connected to the negative terminal. That's the line that it's going to break. And that this is only going to fit on a 15 to a 17 millimeter style plug or terminal here. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect this one to the battery and then put this one into the cable. And then you'll use these wires here to connect it all together. And I'll show you how you would do that here in just a second. So this is going to be fairly straightforward to assemble and install. You're going to take the two wires, connect one to this terminal here on the relay and one to that terminal there. And then we're going to connect these two to each of these two leads here. So we're going to put one here and one here. You're going to use this little wing nut here and then slip it over like that for the one side. And keep in mind, this is the part that connects to the negative terminal of the battery. And then on the other side, you can just unscrew this screw here, like this. And then you can use this if you need to, to attach it to the frame of the car. Or you can just run this through and screw it in like this. And then with these two connected like this, that's how you're going to disconnect the battery. And the last thing you have to do is connect this red wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Once you connect this to the positive terminal of the battery, then this relay here will have power and will be able to accept the buttons from the key fob to connect or disconnect the battery. So make sure when you're making all of these connections with the wires and stuff, that the nuts are going to be tight enough on, on them that they won't move or jostle around and that they'll keep a good connection. So you're going to have to use a wrench to loosen these, put the wires on, and then tighten these back up to get a good connection. Another really useful way you can use this is it can be a theft deterrent because if somebody thinks they're going to be able to steal your car, they jump in it and try to hotwire it. It won't do anything if you've got the battery completely disconnected and you can only turn it on with this key fob. Make sure that you measure your battery ter negative battery terminal before you purchase this to know whether it's gonna be compatible or not. So this is a high quality product. It's really easy to assemble and to attach to a vehicle. This is gonna be really convenient on a vehicle that sits for a long time, but it's not easy to get to where the battery is and it wouldn't be easy to do this manually. It makes it really nice that you've got a little key fob here where you can turn it on, on, or, on or off using just this remote button. It's gonna make it nice and easy and prolong the life of your battery and keep it from draining when the car or vehicle is sitting for a long period of time.